We started on our journey very early in the morning. We drove south and then east to the mountains. Don Juan had brought gourds with food and water. We ate in my car before we started walking. Stick close to me. This is an unknown region to you, and there's no reason to take chances. You are going in search of power, and everything you do counts. Watch the wind, especially toward the end of the day. Watch when it changes directions, and shift your position so I always shield you from it. What are we going to do in these mountains, Don Juan? You're hunting power. I mean, what are we going to do in particular? There is no plan when it comes to hunting power. Hunting power or hunting game is the same. A hunter hunts whatever presents itself to him. Thus, he must always be in a state of readiness. You know about the wind. And now, you may hunt power in the wind by yourself. But there are other things you don't know about, which are, like the wind, the center of power, at certain times, at certain places. Power is a very peculiar affair. It's impossible to pin it down and say what it really is. It's a feeling one has about certain things. Power is personal. It belongs to oneself only. My benefactor, for instance, could make a person mortally ill by merely looking at him. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Yet, he did not make people sick all the time, but only when his personal power was involved. How did he choose who to make sick? I don't know that. He didn't know it himself. Power is like that. It commands you, and yet, it obeys you. Thousands of years. Instead of going to a store to get your meat, this is what they did. Oh, that's so cruel, it's so gruesome. But everybody will go to the store to buy chicken or get chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And drive through. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say McDonald's. Block that out. They'll go to a fast food place and get chicken nuggets. And this, my friends, is chicken nuggets, but this chicken was extremely well taken care of and very loved and very humbled and appreciative to be able to get meat from it. A hunter of power entraps it and then stores it away as his personal finding. Thus, personal power grows. And you may have the case of a warrior who has so much personal power that he becomes a man of knowledge. How does one store power, Don Juan? That again is another feeling. It depends on what kind of person the warrior is. My benefactor was a man of violent nature. He stored power through that feeling. Everything he did was strong and direct. He left me a memory of something crushing through things, and everything that happened to him took place in that manner. I told him I couldn't understand how power was stored through a feeling. There's no way to explain it. You have to do it yourself. He picked up the gourds with food and fastened them to his back. He handed me a string with eight pieces of dry meat strung on it and made me hang it from my neck. This is power food, he said. What makes it power food, Don Juan? It's the meat of an animal that had power. My personal power brought it to me. This meat will sustain us for weeks, months if need be. Chew little bits at a time and chew it thoroughly. Let the power sink slowly into your body.